the phrase computer science has a very broad meaning as of today that is your computer science cs right so however in this course we'll define this phrase as issues related to the computers so this introductory module first tries to find out that what computer is and then we'll investigate on other issues that is directly related to computers so first we'll have a look at the turing model the turing model as a mathematical and philosophical definition of computation so then we'll try to show that how today's computers are based on your von neumann architecture right so first have a look at let's have a look at turing model turing model which is very very important right so the idea of this universal computational device was first described by alan turing so let me show you alan turing professor alan turing right so he was the one alan turing right he was the one so the the idea of universal computational device was given by him around 1936 if i'm not wrong so it was given by alan turing also known as the father of computer science right so he proposed that all computation can be performed by a special kind of machine that is what we call right now as turing machine which you will often study in the domain of theory of computation which is the theoretical aspect of computer science turing machine it has its practical application as well in compiler design so that is not the part, uh, that is not the part of the course that we want to discuss as of now so right now we call this computation device as turing machine in the name of professor turing so although mr turing presented the mathematical description of such machine but he was rather more interested in philosophical definition of computation than in building the actual machine so this turing model is a mathematical model it's not a actual machine by the way it's just a mathematical model because it consists of infinite memory and okay so we'll talk about turing machine in detail later let's try to understand the idea behind this right so he was interested in the philosophical definition i repeat again right so he based the model on actions that people perform when involved in computation so what he did he abstracted out these actions whatever computations are supposed to do uh, supposed to be done by a computational device so he abstracted these actions into a model of computation that really changed the world today whatever machines whatever computers we are having they are based on this turing machine right so he proposed the universal computational device let me write it here universal computational device computational device basically this device can perform all sort of computation if appropriate programs are provided okay so let's try to dive deep inside this first of all let's try to understand about data processor data processor so what is the meaning of data the collection of raw facts and figures that can be recorded that is your data right it it can be text images videos etc so before discussing about the turing model directly first of all let's try to understand about this data processor we'll try to understand the computers we'll try to understand the computer as a data processing machine so using this definition okay according to this definition the computer the computer acts like a black box so it acts as a black box okay so this computer acts as a black box which can receive input so it can accept input data it can accept input data then it can process the data and then provides output it provides output but this model is having certain limitations right it is actually very much constrained to one kind of calculation like you can consider the today's modern uh, today's example uh, let's say a pocket calculator so pocket calculator is something which is very specific to its task okay it can just perform few basic calculations right it cannot play videos or you cannot play games on this right it can just perform basic calculations for you so these kind of computers that is the data processors are highly specific in its domain right so that is one limitation so 
we and and moreover we cannot specify the type of processing what kind of processing you want to do you cannot modify that once the buttons are pre configured addition subtraction multiplication division out of that you can't perform anything you cannot program a calculator right most probably now so these are some some of the limitations of this model here right but again it has its real world use cases and hence we are having this in the form of pocket calculator right and many other devices so more than one kind of calculation or one kind of processing is not possible here right so it's it's not clear that what all set of operations a machine okay based on this model can perform so so how do we put this okay in in the sense of like it is whether whether it is a specific purpose machine or general purpose machine okay so how do you put this so first is first option is that how can we talk about this can we call it a specific purpose machine or a general purpose machine so is this machine specific purpose or general purpose what do you think you can comment below right general purpose so if you observe clearly it is specific purpose machine why because once the computer hardware is designed to do certain task you can after that you cannot program it right once the task is defined then you cannot change it so that is why it is specific purpose okay so this model could represent a specific purpose computer or a processor that is designed to do a single job it can do only one kind of job okay for example like your pocket calculator which performs addition subtraction multiplication division these are very specific task actually then there are various devices right uh, which are used for controlling the temperature right for controlling the temperature so this is again a specific purpose computer or specific purpose machine right and then we have we have the fuel fuel indicator right so these are these all computational devices are spe are specific purpose machine and they do have the real world relevance however these computers okay as the word computer as we use in our today's jargon today's systems are actually general purpose rather than this specific purpose right so there are the today our today's computers can do many different types of task because we can feed different kind of programs into our this today's uh, systems so with with regard to that let's have a look at programmable data processor so we have uh, we have observed the limitation so one of the limitation of this data processor is that it is specific purpose once the hardware is designed you cannot configure it again to do some other task unless and until you don't change the hardware configuration right now let's talk about now let's talk about programmable data processor programmable programmable data processor for example it is if i put a simple analogy here right let's say if a instruction is given to you that you bring you, you are supposed to bring something from market right so in that case let's say you can you can just you are configured to bring only pen from market so whatsoever input you get right you you are having the specific capability to bring pen from market you cannot do multiple task or different type of task you cannot do because you can receive only a certain kind of input and you can do a very specific type of job okay so you cannot be programmed okay any modified instruction you cannot be modified by any sort of instruction or by program okay so in that case we can say that you are non programmable okay we cannot program it once you are tuned for bringing pen from the market you cannot do anything out of that right now let's talk about a programmable data processor so the turing model is a better model for general purpose computer it's it just synchronizes well with this general purpose computer term right so our general purpose computer fits into this category that is your programmable data processor general purpose computer right now let's talk about it so this model adds one extra element to the specific computing machine that is the program so here this word program is very very important so let's try to understand what is this program so it is basically your okay sequence of instructions okay it is it is basically the sequence of instructions that tells the computer what to do with the given input data right so let me write uh, let me just jot it down it is a sequence or you can say ordered collection right sequence of instructions or commands which a computer can execute of course okay sequence of instructions that tells that tells the computer 
that tells the computer that tells the computer what to do with the data what to do with the data right that is an input data basically input data so this feature was lacking in the previous model right so this program this element of program is the game changer here right so in the turing model the output data depends on the combination of two factors okay so the output in this model the output let me write it fully so output in short i write o by p like this okay and input i hope you can guess that is your i by p right so here we'll talk about output so in this okay in the turing model the output data depends on two factors first is your so there are two important factors is your input data first is the input data and the second important aspect is your the program that you are feeding in right so these two are the key elements which is the driving factor okay or which is responsible for the output that is produced by this turing model right so like i can just show you some example but before getting with some example let's let's see at a schematic level that how this uh, model looks like so you have the computer here right you have the computer here and then this is your input module this is your input module through which the computer can receive the input data and this is your output data right output data so the data which you achieve okay after the processing right and this is your input data and again the extra element here that is your program so the program contains the sequence of instructions which says to the computers that what to do with the input data so that the output is produced accordingly right so let's try to understand this aspect okay so let's uh, have various combination so first combination is that okay so we can have various combination of the okay programs and the input data so first first combination is that same program same program so let me give you a small example of program so pr program is your basically sequence of instructions right so let's say uh, let's say i want to add two numbers i want to add two integers let's say so in that case first of all we can perform this instructions we first of all we need to get started we, we need to start the program right and then we need to input let's say first number let's say n1 then we need to input uh, that is your n2 and then we need to add this n1 plus n2 and whatever is the result we'll store this in some variable let's say r and then finally we'll just print out the result and after that we can halt this program right so if you observe here it's just like a recipe right like if you want to have a dish for that you are going to have corresponding recipe and if you follow the instructions that is mentioned in the recipe and if you perform them properly without any mistake you will have the dish ready at your disposal right similarly if you want to add two integers so this is the program this is the program at a very basic level okay to add two integers so first of all you start the program then read the first input second input add both of them and whatever is the result store in some third variable print out the output that is the sum of two numbers and then finally stop so this is your sequence of instruction and if you notice one thing these instructions are atomic in itself and again you cannot change the sequence let's say if i put this addition okay before start so in that case your your program is not going to work right so that's why we say that program is a sequence of instruction so the sequence the order of execution matters here right all right so i hope that i have given a fair idea about program so let's talk about it that in how many ways this computers okay this computer which is going to produce the output data okay what all factors are driving this output data okay and in what way so same program same program uh, but different data but different data so let's see in this case how our output data is going to get affected so let's say you have your computer here right you have your computing system here you have your computer here right and the input data is something like this 3 12 8 and 22 so let's say it is some list of numbers right that is your input data here this is your input data and then this will be feeded to this machine and there is a program for sorting these numbers so sorting means arranging the numbers from ascending to, to ascending order or descending order vice versa whatever it is okay so after performing this sort operation so your output should be like this 3 8 12 and 22 so this is your output data so you can notice here okay so this is the first situation let's say case 1 or let's say case a let's have a look at second case 
now i'm just going to change the input data that is your let's say 14 6 8 12 let's say and rest of the things are same that is your the program and the computer of course these are same so let me say take the same thing here so my program is not changing my program is still that same sorting sorting program so it will sort these numbers right so this will be your 6 8 12 14 so this figure shows that same sorting program with different input data right so although the program is same and the, uh, the and the machine is same but based on based on the input data the output data definitely gets affected right so i hope you understood the aspect here that if the input data is modified then definitely the output data gets affected so this is your first category of that is your same program and different data different input data to be very specific different input data right so as well as output because when your input data changes then output data also changes right so it's better to write different data second category second category is your okay same input data this time input data will be same same input data but different program okay different programs let's have this combination once okay different programs i hope these things are visible to you so we'll tr uh, we'll try to have a look okay where we'll just keep the input data same and we'll just change the program and let's see how our output changes right so let's have a look so we have this uh, program let's say sort so we have the sort program which will be taken as as the program in this machine that is your computer here right so in the input data we'll put the data elements as okay 3 12 8 and 22 and after this sort operation your data would be 3 8 12 22 so this is your input data and this is your output data i hope that is clear right now if i take the same thing right i'll just change the program i'll take the same data set and i will change the program this time i'll modify the program so here instead of let me just erase this sort here instead of uh, sorting the numbers i will add this list of numbers this input data here right so after addition i'll be getting this is your i guess 3 and 22 25 and 20 that is your 45 right so the sum of this will be your 45 so you can see again the output data how it gets affected right so when you modify the program so first of all you are having here sort program so it performs sorting on these numbers right on the input data and when you execute this program add it just add this list of numbers and pr provides the output to you right so hence it is clearly visible here that if input data is input data is same and programs are different then your output data gets affected right and then the third combination the third combination is that same input data same input data same input data and same program and same program right so in this case okay so whatever result you are expecting right so if you are not modifying the input data and you are not modifying the prog uh, program you are going to get the same output right for example so let me take one case a here right let's say we are having the program let's say add right and we have here our computer so the input data is let's say 20 and 8 this is the input data so this is your output will be your 28 right now what it, what it says this combination input data should be same and the program should, should be same so if you see the second case there is no change in the output okay there is no modification in the output the output remains the same so i hope you can see this clearly right so that is the heading here okay same input data and same program so output has no effect on this right now let's try to talk about the universal turing machine so after having a look on this programmable data processor and the specific data processor see we okay we need both of them actually in this real world we have application of both of them and i have given you enormous examples for that okay for specific purpose and if you talk about programmable data processor from desktop laptops mobile phones palm tops smartwatch whatever almost all the smart devices that you're using these are mostly your programmable data processor right so i i need not provide you examples right because we are experiencing this in our day-to-day -day life so let's talk about the universal turing machine now the universal 
यूनिवर्सल ट्यूरिंग मशीन सो दिस इज़ द फाउंडेशन फॉर ऑल द मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर्स दैट वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग टूडे राइट सो वी नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ ऑल दिस सो इन शॉर्ट वी कॉल इट यू टी एम यू फॉर अपर टी फॉर ट्यूरिंग एंड दिस इज फॉर मशीन राइट सो लेट्स डिफाइन फॉर्मली सो यूनिवर्सल ट्यूरिंग मशीन इन सिंपल वर्ड्स इफ आई पुट टूगेदर इट्स अ मशीन इट इज अफकोर्स अ मशीन राइट विच इज़ वेरी ऑब्वियस इट्स अ मशीन दैट कैन डू एनी कंप्यूटेशन दैट कैन दैट कैन डू एनी कंप्यूटेशन कंप्यूटेशन मीन्स कैलकुलेशन और मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन राइट एनी कंप्यूटेशन इफ इफ द एप्रोप्रिएट प्रोग्राम इज प्रोवाइडेड इफ द एप्रोप्रिएट इफ द एप्रोप्रिएट प्रोग्राम इज प्रोवाइडेड एप्रोप्रिएट प्रोग्राम इज प्रोवाइडेड सो इट इज जस्ट लाइक दैट इफ द प्रॉपर रेसिपी इज प्रोवाइडेड टू यू देन यू कैन परफॉर्म यू कैन जस्ट प्रिपेयर एनी डिश इफ यूर इफ यू हैव द राइट स्किल सेट एंड इफ यूर ओके ट्रेंड वेल राइट सिमिलरली हेयर सो दैट इज ह्यूमन ट्रेनिंग हेयर ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एट मशीन लेवल राइट सो ए मशीन ए मशीन ओके सो इट इज अ मशीन दैट कैन परफॉर्म एनी कंप्यूटेशन बट द कंडीशन इज दैट द एप्रोप्रिएट प्रोग्राम मस्ट बी प्रोवाइडेड सो दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ अ मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर ओके दैट वॉज द मैथमेटिकल डिस्क्रिप्शन सो इट कैन बी प्रूव दैट ए वेरी पावरफुल कंप्यूटर एंड यूनिवर्सल ट्यूरिंग मशीन कैन कंप्यूट द सेम थिंग दैट मीन्स इफ यू कंसिडर द टूडेज वॉट एवर एक्सवाइजेड द मोस्ट पावरफुल कंप्यूटर इट इज इट एन्जॉयज इक्वेलेंट पावर ऑफ आवर मैथमेटिकल मॉडल दैट इज योर यूनिवर्सल ट्यूरिंग मशीन सो फॉर यू इन्फॉर्मेशन इट्स जस्ट अ मैथमेटिकल मॉडल वेन यू विल जम्प टू दिस कोर्स ऑफ थियर ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन ओके देर यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट दिस ट्यूरिंग मशीन इन मोर डिटेल राइट फॉर नाउ आई कॉन्ट गो मोर ओके आई आई कैनॉट गो मोर डीपर दैन दिस राइट सो वी नीड ओके वी नीड ओनली द डेटा इन द प्रोग्राम सो हेयर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ओके सो द डेटा दैट इज द इनपुट डेटा इनपुट डेटा इज द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट हेयर एंड सेकेंड इज द प्रोग्राम राइट बिकॉज वॉट एवर ऑपरेशन विल बी परफॉर्म्ड दैट विल बी बेस्ड ऑन योर इनपुट डेटा राइट सो द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड द एंड द प्रोग्राम विल से प्रोग्राम प्रोवाइड्स द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ हाउ टू हाउ टू डू द कंप्यूटेशन ऑन द गिवेन डेटा सो प्रोग्राम विल से प्रोग्राम विल कंटेन द इंस्ट्रक्शंस ऑफ डूइंग द सर्टन ऑपरेशंस ऑन द गिवेन इनपुट डेटा सो इन 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 शॉर्ट इफ आई से यूनिवर्सल ट्यूरिंग मशीन दैट इज यू टी एम इज केपेबल ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग एनीथिंग दैट इज कंप्यूटेबल ओके सो लेट मी राइट दिस लाइन बट अगेन द एप्रोप्रिएट प्रोग्राम मस्ट बी प्रोवाइडेड सो लेट मी राइट दिस लाइन ओके दिस लाइन इज वर्थ राइटिंग सो a universal turing machine in short i will write a a universal turing machine utm that is okay is capable is capable is capable of computing anything that is computable computing anything that is computable that is computable now what are the limitations of this again we will study these things in theory of computation that is your toc right so that's it i hope that you really enjoyed you got to know something if you have really got to know something please leave your comments below thank you for watching